So hi everyone, I'm going to be showing or sharing with you my December Lust Habit box. Now mine actually arrived on the 20th and yeah, it's been a little bit attacked by my family. My husband ate the candy cane that it came with and my son had a field day with the little filling, like the, the red or I suppose Christmassy themed uh, stuffing in there so I can't show you a pretty picture of it but that's pretty much it but I'll get to it in a moment just wanted to say they were going to be starting their new packaging um, if you're still thinking about joining Lust Habit they've had for probably about half a year cosmetic bags or brightly colored cosmetic bags as the packaging inside the boxes um, and they were going to do a new type for December but I think they didn't get that order in time so they're going to be starting that off in the new year so come January and also, uh, they were supposed to get an exfoliating glove, I'm already starting with it, an exfoliating glove um, in everyone's boxes, I believe, but I think the order will arrive late, so they are holding off on seeing them out. So some have the exfoliating glove, and some don't, but um, if you have subscribed and you haven't got your glove, you should be getting it uh, in next month's one as well, so... Yes. Anyway, let's get to it. I've already started it. So get the card for the month and that goes on about the products and stuff and an introduction for that month's box. We're adding glove in here. So it looks like one of the mitts actually. So it's yeah, one of those ones that you can use in the shower or at night. And this one recommended retail for nine dollars fifty. So that's a little bit interesting. So I got that, but the first thing that caught my eye and I was pretty wrapped with this one is this. So it's a face mist and I think it's pronounced Baji or Beiji, I don't know. But it's a full size so it's 110 mils and this face spray recommended retail is $18 Australian. So that's pretty good. And I actually like the packaging, it's really simple but it's effective. I don't know, I just love that, the orange and the dark brown for some reason. Um, and it's actually a face mist that you can use to set mineral makeup um, as a toner between as a toner between cleansing and moisturizing or for a cool down. So hmm. let's open it. That's pretty. Look at that. That's actually really neat. I don't I don't know why, but I just love that blue as well. The blue bottle with that very it's very simple. It's a very simple sort of packaging, but um kind of makes me think of a salon type a type product but this is the best part now where is it it's free from parabens sulfates petrochemicals synthetic preservatives preservatives and color love that gotta love that but the most and it's Australian product so very much looking forward to trying that another goodie in here that I like to see and it's another full size now how am I going to pronounce this Pelactive, Pelactive, we're going to go with that. So, Visibly Healthy Skin Hydra Daily Defense, and that's a 50ml product. Uh, and this, I cannot believe, recommended retail for $69 Australian. Whoa. So, it's formulated with lipizones, vitamin A and E, seaweed extract, jojoba, and avocado oils, and non greasy. Wow. So, you can use it to hydrate, soothe, and detoxify skin and use it as a makeup base. So, uh, sounds like it's going to be a primer sass moisturizer or moisturizing primer. So that's another one I'm excited to try. That's two good face products. Another good face product is this. And I believe there's a variety. Some people got um, eyeshadow, some people got a face power foundation, face foundation. I got the blusher. And what is it? It's by Everyday Minerals. Apparently it's a Texan company, but um, yeah, so this is a mineral blusher. Look at that. It looks like a plummy or dusky mauve plum, but very pretty. So another one I'm looking forward to try. So this one just says eco-friendly, uh, recommended retail between seven to $13. So I'm not sure if that's, if that's a Texan brand. Is that must be the Australian price or overseas? So seven to thirteen dollars for that. But how cute is that packaging? And it's nice and sleek, and it's got the little sifter, not sifter, the little um, spin sifters. Very good, very good. So there's some nice, good face products there. A couple more, but these are sample sized, 
and they're from Glasshouse. So what do we got? We have a Marcelli Gardenia Shea Butter and Macadamia or 5ml hand cream. Oh, look at that reflective thing happening there. And another hand cream, it's the Shea Butter and Macadamia Oil Kakadu. Kakadu with a lily. No, I haven't tried any of their Glasshouse stuff, so looking forward to trying that too. And very generous size. I don't think this is the full size. What is this? It's the TG Catwalk Sessions Series Finishing Hairspray. So this is so 250ml is normally $29.95 and this is 80ml. So that's a generous. <laughs> Hello. And lastly we have a little sample. I think I've tried this before. This is the Daisy um, Fragrance by Marc Jacobs and it's a little 1.2 ml. I still like those ones. It's a lovely floral scent. Oh no, one more thing, a promo code. Promo code from the Everyday Minerals, is it? Yep. So 10% off your next purchase or first purchase. And that's the box. That's the Christmassy box. Uh, yes, so actually I'm really I love those fresh products. That's probably my favourite out of them those first three products very happy with those so I am happy with this month's uh, box must have it thank you last have it um, and of course if you're not subscribed it is $14.95 um, Australian to subscribe a month I'll put the link down below to the website um, but yeah the only thing I say is, uh, apart from the um, when they've done read before I think a lot of people do read for Valentine's Day too but the little Christmassy treat was the little candy cane which was which was nice my husband enjoyed eating it but um, I must say though as for a Christmassy theme or any kind of theme no, no, no disrespect to Last Habit but I think I Love This Box had the best themed boxes they did they went all out I think for, for what they were a beauty sample subscription company um, but unfortunately they closed months and months ago but um, I hope you enjoyed watching this if you have received this box um, let me know what you got down below um, if you've got a video link that um, down as well and take care